Treaters. It just wouldn't be Halloween without a good scare. <laughs> Angel, and a funny clown, and oh, what's this? Are you a real dragon? Ah! Oh, yeah. I can't see. I can't see a thing. <laughs> you really died this time, Mom? I don't think it's supposed to be like this. Halloween is ruined. I can't help it! We can't wear our costume! We won't get any candy! <laughs> I just can't bear to see their Halloween ruin. I must help them. But how? Ah, that's it! There must be a way to do this. Hmm, maybe if we just try the head on. Hey! Quit it! Where are we going? Why, eat you little scamp. How did you get in there? <gasps> That's it. Glorioski children, we're saved. I have a brilliant idea. Eek can steer. Yay! Yay! Enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that's taken care of. <laughs> Kumbaya, that was close. Now if I can just zero in on some tasty treats, that'll make the kids' Halloween extra special. Oh, happy Halloween, you festive little monkeys. Thank uh, you, you kind your sighted millionaire widow lady. Hey, well, that sounds like the old lady on the street who's got more money than she knows what to do with. Come on! 
I could be the head this year. You promised. Look, Lance, you're just better as the horse's butt. You've been the horse's butt for six years. You're good at it. That does it. I have had it. I am not moving another step. Fine, we'll just stand here in the middle of the street. Is that what you want? Well, obviously, it doesn't matter what I want. Fine, we'll just stand in the street. Fine. Ah! Leon. And the last thing Ichabod Crane saw was the headless horseman. His head now replaced by a shrieking jack-o'-lantern galloping towards him. Or so they say. You see, no one ever saw Ichabod Crane again. <laughs> Gosh, Mr. Eyewander, you sure are a scary man. Yeah, uh, can we go back inside now? <laughs> it's okay, kids. It's just an old ghost story. It didn't really happen. <laughs> Boss is taking a nap. He don't want to be disturbed. Gee, these kids are a lot taller than I remember. Yikes! Ouch! Um, uh. Go on, hit the piñata, Jorge. If you hit it hard enough, all the Halloween candy will fall out. Being a chicken head is quite a skill. Well, I'll be. That's a clever costume. A kid dressed up like some kind of upside-down person with a club. Oh, gosh, it hurts! Ooh, ah, ah. Kumbaya! I've stumbled into some kind of a cemetery or something. And it's Halloween night. I hope I don't run into any ghosts. <laughs> Of course, luckily for me, there's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> Therefore, there's nothing to be afraid of. Boo! 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 What are you doing in a cemetery if you're not a ghost? Good question. My name is Zeke, and I think I'm a little lost. I was trick-or-treating with my family when we got separated. I gotta find them before something terrible happens. That makes two of us. I'm Kripke, and I'm lost, too. I've lost my whole family. <laughs> nice to meet you, Kripke. Well, gee, Kripke, maybe I can help you find your family while I look for mine. We'll be a team. Partners. <laughs> You'd help me? Why, sure. It never hurts to help. Come on, buck up. That's the spirit. Where? Uh, never mind. It's just an expression. Come on, let's go find your ghost folks. I never met a real live uh, ghost before. We only come back to Earth one night a year. I came on a tour bus with my family and a bunch of other ghosts. <laughs> At the graveyard, we were playing hide and go shoot. I was so well hidden in an urn that when I came out, everyone was gone. They must have continued on the rest of the tour and forgotten about me. I doubt that, Crypty. They're probably very worried by now. But don't you worry. We have all the time in the world to find your family. Oh, no, we don't. See, we ghosts are allowed to visit Earth only on Halloween night. And we gotta get back to Ghostland before the clock strikes 12, or we'll be stuck here wandering the Earth forever as lost souls. Hmm, I was not aware of that. Well, we won't let that happen to you, Kripke. We'll find your pals before midnight. 
Now, Sink, where might your friends go? They could be anywhere. They... Hey, wait a minute! They said something about an old house they thought they'd try and haunt. Old house, you say? Hmm. I wonder which old house and where. Man. No, you fool! The Book of Spirit Entrapment! Tonight, when the clock strikes twelve, all the ghosts of the world shall be mine! <laughs> Hello? Hello, is anybody home? Hello, Uncle Finster, Cousin Freep! What's that noise? Sounds like it's just some loose floorboards. How can we be sure that it's just a loose floorboard? Well, there's a clue. I'm relieved, truly. We better split up, Eek. You go that way and I'll go this way. Holler if you find any ghosts. Oh, you can count on it, Crypty. Uh, hello? Anybody's... Uh, I mean, anybody home? One pair of ostrich lips? Chuck! One eye of Newt? Chuck! One used Bigfoot diaper. Ew! Check! One heart of a lawyer. But... But we don't have a heart of a lawyer! <laughs> That's because there's no such thing! It was just a joke, man! <laughs> a dash of hot sauce. Check! And finally, 20 toes of two bickering children. What? You mean live bickering children? That's what it says, and this time it's no joke, man! Two bickering children? Two bickering children? Where are we going to find two live bickering children at this hour? You're the stupid one. You are. You are. I'm not you are. What luck. A long time ago, it was a night of great power. Huge bonfires were lit, hoping to ward off the evil spirits, especially the Boogeyman. On Friday, September 29th, in the final confrontation with Michael Myers, the secret of his evil will be revealed. Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers. Rated R. Starts Friday, September 29th. Look what's rising out of the pumpkin patch this Halloween. The Pumpkin Cutter, a great way to let your kids carve their own pumpkins without sharp edges that cut little hands. It even makes toothy grins easy to do. The Pumpkin Scoop removes seeds and pulp better than any spoon. And the Pumpkin Light replaces dangerous candles with glowing results. Have a great pumpkin this Halloween with the Pumpkin Cutter, Pumpkin Scoop, and Pumpkin Light. Pumpkin Cutter products available at Long's Drugs and Safeway. It was late one night in the castle of the Chicken McNuggets. top of your head anymore? Or does that metal plate in your skull preclude all sense of feeling? Uh, I don't have a metal plate in my skull. Do so. Do not. So. Not. So. I do not. <laughs> this is the worst Halloween ever. We haven't even gotten any candy. <laughs> Mr. Ghosty? Hello? Hello, is anybody home? Where are you? Mr. Uh, Ghost? Uh, hello? Anybody down there? Hmm, nobody down here. Something fishy's going on. Who turned out the lights? Huh? I gotta remember to use more moisturizer. My skin is in pain. Hey, hey, get it off! Get it off! Ugh. <sighs>
Good morning. Will you be joining us? We'd love to have you for breakfast, wouldn't we, girls? Uh-huh. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? Hello there. Can I help you, fellas? Oh, hi, Mr. Bat. We were just looking for some ghosts. Have you seen any here tonight? Honey, dinner's ready. All right, honey. Just a minute! Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. There were a whole bunch here earlier, but they got bored and left. As you can see, there's not much going on here. Did they say where they were going? Come on, honey, you better eat your soup before it clots. I'm coming already! Yeah, 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 they said something about the old Tantamount Dance Hall on Oak Street. Honey! Yeah, 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 I'm blind. I ain't deaf, you know? Hey, I sure hope my ghost pals are at the dance hall. Yeah, and maybe we'll find my kids along the way, too. Hey, that's my squishy bar. It's mine. You can have these green jelly beans. Give me that squishy bar. No. Well, 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 if it isn't the pair of bickering children. Yes, man, complete with 20 wiggling uh, stinky toes. They'll be perfect. Enjoying your treats, children? Mm, yeah, okay. How about now? <laughs> Give me strength, man. Now, lower the 20 wiggling toes of bickering children, and our ghost nectar shall bring these partying spirits to their doom. But the children are not bickering, man. Oh, yeah? Watch this. Hey, give me! It's mine, you jerk! You're the jerk! Let's get busy! You are! You are! for this manual labor, man. What now? We gotta break out of here. With what? We're soft and transparent. Hello, I'm Eek. Hello, Eek. We're doomed. Well, what do you mean? That mean witch is about to do us all in. We'll never get out of here alive. I mean, we're ghost toasties. Never give up hope, Mr. Ghost. No matter how gloomy a situation seems, there's always a solution. There's bound to be a way out of this aquarium. But this aquarium's made from ghost-proof material. Well, I'm not a ghost. You're right. Eek! Can we use your head to break the wall of our confines? Sure, it never hurts to help. <laughs> Ah! 
Now we'll see who's the powder puff, you bad witch. You little pillowcases with eyes. You'll spoil everything. Hmm. Hey, we're out of candy. This room looks good. <laughs> Don't come any closer. I'll scream. I'll do it. I will. It was really neat of you to go to all the trouble of setting up this phony haunted house. But we gotta go. Yeah, we're going to have our stomachs pumped. They're having a two-for-one Halloween special down at Mick Chopla's Memorial. Hmm. Bye, Eek. Hey, lady, are you all right? <coughs> oh, I swallowed the ghost-catching potion. Ew, this can't be good. What's gonna happen to me? Uh-oh. Oh, this is no good for you, babe. No good at all. What? But it is good for me. It says here you turn into a small radish. What? Sorry. Rodent. Now you can be my little helper. <laughs> sure. Anything you say, Ziggy. I think we go to Jamaica, man. You serve me many tropical drinks. Live the good life. Whatever you say, Ziggy. Whatever you say sounds good to me. Hey, thanks for saving us, Eek. Yeah, if you hadn't come along, we wouldn't have stood a ghost of a chance. You sure are a great pal, Eek. It was sure fun meeting you, Crypty. It's too bad you guys gotta go. Hey, you wanna come with us back to Ghostland? But I'm not a ghost. You could be. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Thanks anyway. You guys go on, and maybe I'll see you next Halloween. All right, then. Well, bye-bye. Bye, Eek. Bye, Crypty. Say hello to Elvis for me. Elvis? Elvis. I never seen it. Happy Halloween! Boy, Halloween sure is a great time for everybody. I think it's my favorite holiday of the year. I mean, except for Christmas. And Thanksgiving. And, well, Arbor Day. And I like Easter. Valentine's Day is nice. The 4th of July, May Day. What are you making? Sauce. We're using my mummy's recipe. Mummy? Uh oh. Uh. This better be good. It'll be great. Hmm, does your daddy have a recipe? <laughs> Now you can get McDonald's Happy Meal Pails for Halloween! There's a pumpkin pail, Boo! a witch, Boo! and a ghost Boo! Ah! that glows in the dark. You can get a different one each week until Halloween! Ooh. Ah! All right, we're back. Hey, wasn't that a goodie? <laughs> Did you hear about the big wrestling event going down? It's going down Halloween night. Dorky Matthew Gagney is going to be taking on that flowing Lock Simon Beava in the ring. Actually, not a ring. It's in the graveyard for the Baptism of Blood 2 Cemetery Throwdown. Ah, as dorky as Matthew Gagney is, I do have a feeling he might just take this one because, like, he is super strong. It's true. Anyways, here's Ivan talking some smack. What up, vagrants? It's your reigning, defending... World Heavyweight Video Vagrants Champion here with a special message for Matt Awkward. In fact, it's so special, I had to write a little poem. So let me get my reading glasses on. <clears throat> Roses are red. Bloodstains are two. Come October 31st, what you gonna do? I'll rip out your eyes and step on your peen. This will be Matt Awkward's last Halloween. See you at the graveyard, Matt. Oh, big tough guy. Brr. Anyways, here's Matthew's rebuttal to Ivan. As you can see, he's a little bit more classy. Ooh. Hey, Ivan. Uh, I'm really looking forward to our wrestling match on Halloween at the graveyard. Um, I know we've both been training for this for the past two years, and we're both pretty amazing athletes and uh, good friends, so I think it should be a, a good night of nice moves and some great sportsmanship on display. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm gonna destroy you, dude. I'm gonna dig a ditch and throw your body in it, and then cover you in dirt, and then doo-doo on it, and then come back the next day and doo-doo on it again, and I'm gonna keep doing that, and doo-dooing and doo-dooing, until it becomes this giant mound of uh, doo-doo that becomes a local tourist attraction called the Doo-Doo Tomb of Doo-Doo Bays, the world's worst wrestler, but nobody will come see it because it's just a bunch of doo-doo. Oh, man, it's gonna be great. I cannot wait to doo-doo that to you on Halloween. I'll see you there, doo-dooed. Great cereal, Frankenberry. Frankly, it's very good. Our visitor, perhaps he'd like a monster for breakfast today. Mm. The real Frankenstein! This monster's not on the menu! Oh, 
what Frankenberry cereal is. <laughs> Strawberry flavored marshmallows? <laughs> it's part of this complete breakfast. Good. I bought a monster for breakfast today. For real. Watch out for him. It started to happen again. Dad! I'm in trouble. You've had some scary dreams, okay? Help! Daddy can't help you now. Freddy is back on Elm Street. And he's not a welcome visitor. A Nightmare on Elm Street, part two. Freddy's Revenge. Rated R from New Line Cinema. Now showing at a theater near you. Carving your own Halloween pumpkin can be a lot of fun for grown-ups. Hey kids, isn't this fun? But with a pumpkin cutter, children of all ages can easily design and carve their own Halloween pumpkins in complete safety. The pumpkin cutter is simple and safe to use. There are no sharp edges, yet it quickly cuts through all pumpkins smoothly. Any child can learn to use the pumpkin cutter the very first time. Make this Halloween extra special with the pumpkin cutter. Available at Pathmark, Genovese, and Rickles Home Centers. Happy Halloween, everybody. You know, your girl Ashes is here in her fantastic special made for video vagrants um, Barfkin VHS t shirt. So I just knocked my bong over. No worries. We're not going to let that fuck things up. That's for damn sure. Um, anyways, bam. Video vagrant, bam. Horror section. And then some kick ass art made by Yagul. Um, ready for your bodies. Um, the world has a really negative viewpoint on, um, uh, shirtless torsos in the public. So these are made specifically, um, to cover that. So, uh, definitely hit me up, ashesdoesart.com, or you can reach out to me. If you don't have one, there's long sleeves and there are short sleeves. I made mine into a crop because, you know, your girl likes showing off the goods. Um... But if you want a crop, hit me up as well. So, um, I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic Halloween. And, um, yeah, I love you. Mwah. Woo! What a fantastic evening! I hope you're all enjoying the show so far. We have so many more things in store for you. So, without further ado, I press play, Ivan! Cause I got something to show you I'm proud to show them They're right up front So nice and big I'm proud to flaunt my Two big pumpkins Nice big pumpkins They're right up front You just can't miss them All of my friends Just love to kiss them Oh! 
two big pumpkins just growing out there in my pumpkin patch. Two big pumpkins! Oh, gigantic. Oh my god. Man, I would hate to have to haul these babies around. They are heavy. Can you imagine my back after carrying that around all day? Oh, lordy. Get your boogie on, let's get a boogie on, get a boogie on, let's get a boogie on, get a boogie on, let's get a boogie on with some Ghostbusters and the Boogeyman. <laughs> Boston makes me feel good. wheel in the back seat for him. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Louie, we got you covered. You'll never take me alive, coppers. Of course not. You're a ghost. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. And if I'm a ghost, I can do this. You don't scare us, Louie. Take away those supernatural powers and you're nothing but another two-bit dead hood. One, two, three! Hit it! I've been praying, see? Another ghost, another dollar. What? Let's get it back to the containment chamber. Hurry up, Ivan! Boy, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna sleep like the dead. Possibly not the most appropriate metaphor, Peter, considering our line of work. Janine, we're all going Betty by now, so don't let anyone in. Whatever you say, Dr. Venkman. And now for some rest. Yuck! Slimer! You've been sleeping on my pillow again, haven't you? Slimer, if you had any days left, they'd be numbered. Hey, Ray, I think it might be a good time to test this new ghost bomb you got designed. You know, the one guaranteed to disintegrate all spirits within a 50-yard radius. Works every time. Hey, guys! <sighs> Janine, do you know what time it is? I know you told me not to let anyone in, but I think this qualifies as an exception. Remind me to pay you sometime so I can cut your salary. What is it, Janine? Meet Megan and Kenny Carter. They want to hire us. They want to hire us? You can have everything in our piggy bank. Well, our usual fee for a standard capture and containment is $1,500. But we'll make an exception. Yay! Janine, get the kids some cookies and milk, will you? Okay, kids. Suppose you tell old Winston what the problem is. Well, sir, it's like this. It's the boogeyman. What? Yeah, the boogeyman lives in our closet. He's there right now. 
He comes out and he he scares us. Uh huh. I think you kids have got overactive imaginations. That's what our parents say, but it's true. He's there. Peter, I think we should look into this. Look, ghosts, specters, phantoms, I can believe him. But the boogeyman, that's a little harder. I say we investigate now. Okay. You want to tell us why you're so hot to take this case, Egon? Let's just say it's personal. Thanks, Egon. That explains a lot. Pretty scary, all right. I'm reading high paranormal activity in the closet. Okay, Egon, open the door. Oh. But he was in there, honest. Well. Doesn't look like he's there anymore. Never heard of a window in a closet before. He gad. It's him. Okay, let's earn some money. I remember you. Egon, move! No, not again. What? It's not a ghost! How are we gonna get it in the trap? Good question. Why did you think of that before? Go full stream! Maybe we can force him back in the closet! Yeah, kid. Oh, yeah. We've got to go after him. No, we don't. Show me where it says that. Egon, we need more equipment. Not to mention a plan. You don't understand. We can't let him get away. We've got to close off that portal. What's going on here? Who are you? They're the Ghostbusters, Mom. They came to get rid of the boogeyman. Yeah. Uh, good evening. I'm Ray Stance of the Ghostbusters. I'm sorry to have to tell you that you've got what seems to be a Class 7 repeating corporeal entity residing here. Or, in layman's terms, the boogeyman lives in your closet. <laughs> I see. Thank you so much for stopping by. Why don't you leave? Now. Why didn't they believe us? Egon, we told them there was a monster in their kid's closet. We're lucky they didn't have us arrested. We've got to go back there and find it again. Wrong. What we've got to do is some serious thinking about how to catch this thing. Since the boogeyman's not a ghost, we can't use the standard traps on him. We'll have to think of something else. Egon, the boogeyman said he remembered you. Uh, is there anything you'd like to tell us? When I was a child, the boogeyman would come out of my closet. He... He's the reason I started investigating the supernatural. I wanted to find a way to stop him. According to this, the boogeyman lives on kids' fear. The more scared they are, the better he likes it. Heck of a way to make a living. Still, when you think about how many kids there are, he's got job security. Hey, that's it. We can't go back into the Carter's house, but maybe we can find another closet that leads to the boogeyman's domain. Yeah, sure. Right on. And once there, this might be just what we need to seal him up in his own world forever. Yes, it just might work. Unfortunately, not every child's closet leads to the boogeyman. We can adjust the PKE meters to pick up potential vibrations. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. You guys get it together, okay? I'll be back. Where are you going? I got some friends to check up on. <sighs> okay.
Good time with Disney's scary tales of Halloween. At nine, there's terror in the eye. There's no reason to panic. Hair racing fun. Airplane. Then at eleven. I think I got something in my eye. Monstrous fun on Nightco. <laughs> it's so much fun, it's scary. Halloween night on Fox 36. It's been nine years. I'd be Orange Beard the Pirate. Now Garfield makes his triumphant return. Halloween's my kind of a holiday. Garfield's Halloween Adventure, next. of Pepsi and Doritos. All right, we're back. Ha! And let's see. Uh, anyway, I'm kind of a big star, but this thing isn't all about me. Some of you guys have shared some great things, too. Let's go take a tour of John Ryden News Dodge City Tattoo Company. Woo! Hey, just want to say happy Halloween to all you vagrants out there. Now return to the real Ghostbusters. If you're not afraid, he can't hurt you. We'll remember! I think maybe I'll just hang around a while. I don't know about you guys, but spending all night looking in closets for the boogeyman is not why I moved to Fun City. It's obvious that the boogeyman picks his victims very carefully. Not all closets have portals in them. Remember what they used to say about the mountain and Mohammed? No. I'm not surprised. If we can't get to the boogeyman, then why not bring the boogeyman to us? Huh? No, not in here either. Hey, we've seen just about every apartment for rent in the city and we haven't found it. There's one more we haven't tried. What? 1500 for this place in this neighborhood? You have to be out of your mind. A karate expert would be afraid to live here. We'll take it. Oof. Maybe the dresser would look better against the <sighs> other wall. Peter, 
Hey, the boogeyman's a pretty sharp cookie. This has got to look real if we're going to fool him into opening up for us. These will help create the proper ambience. Wow! It's Dopey Dog! I used to have one of these. We've only got one problem. We need someone to sleep here tonight who can pass for a child. Someone whose thoughts, actions, and general state of mind are identical to, say, a six-year-old. Oh, Dopey. Uh, something I can do for you guys? Remember, as long as you're unafraid, he can't hurt you. Hmm. I want a glass of water. Here, now go to sleep. Peter! What? Tell me a story. He's just getting into the role. He's gonna be in a body cast if he keeps this up. Once upon a time, there were four Ghostbusters who had a job to do, only couldn't do it because one of them wouldn't go to sleep. The end! Boogie. He wants to play rough. Full stream, now! Drive him back through the portal! Peter, help me keep it open. We've got to go after him. Roger. on the other side, Egon. Charge! As an interior decorator, this guy makes a great boogeyman. This place is weird. Where is it? I mean, where are we? This is the boogeyman's realm. A sort of in-between place that opens into children's rooms all over the world. So he uses all these doors to move from... Closet to closet. Pretty sneaky. Okay, let's get real here. How do we find this guy? You were foolish to follow me. I don't think that's going to be a problem here. Getting away, come on! I don't know if we're coming or going! Oh, I think. He's gone. No, wait. There he is. He's coming back into the real world. After him! Ghostbusters, bust the boogeyman! Yeah! After, 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 this, this way, this quick! Way. Nothing to worry about, folks. We'll handle it. You go back to sleep. I knew we shouldn't have bought a house in Hollywood. There he goes! Blast them! Come on, shoot blast! Opinion, Egon, but this isn't going exactly as we planned, is it? Let me get back to you. Where did that come from? This is the boogeyman's domain. He can use it against us. What happens if we blast this thing with our particle beams? No telling. The laws of physics are different here. It could be even worse than crossing the streams. Whoa! Thanks, Ray. For a moment, I was worried. Yeah. 
We have no other choice. We have to go after him. Let's do it. Fireworks? Why did the beams turn it into fireworks? Why not? Fair enough. Egon, can you use your PK meter to track the boogeyman? Too much supernatural energy in this place. I can't zero in on him. We'd better do something about him fast. We might not be so lucky next time. There's only one way to destroy the boogeyman. Do you have the ghost bomb I told you to bring, Ray? Right here. But it doesn't have enough power to do any real damage to this place. Not yet. But we can fix that. Before we do anything, let's find some place more solid. Yeah! Let me get this straight. We're hooking our proton packs up to the bomb to provide the necessary power? Correct. The resulting hyperspatial implosion might just seal off the boogeyman's realm forever. Then let's set it. And let's get moving. If the boogeyman shows up while we're defenseless, Thanks, Winston. We get the picture. Okay, this is it. Set your packs on overload. Let's go. We have to hurry. <gasps> Run. I'll hold him off. Yeah? You and what Starfleet? Egon! No! Won't scare me again. Yeah. We'll see about that. After I finish with you, I'll deal with the Carter children. Look, Kenny. Now watch me put an end to your so-called heroes. We've got to help them. No, no, I'm scared. If we're scared, he can get us. We've got to be brave. It ends here and now, Boogeyman. No more scaring little boys and girls. Not ever. Hey, Boogeyman! You don't scare me! Yeah! You look stupid! Your head's too big! And you've got bad breath! Megan, Kenny, get out of here! Run! Hurry! We've only got seconds left! Mrs. Carter, was the boogeyman going bye-bye? Hmm. The portal is sealed. The boogeyman's realm has been closed off forever. Now do you believe us? Looks like we owe all of you an apology. <laughs> Think nothing of it, sir. All in a night's work. Sleep well, kids. We will. Now. Thank you. Oh, talk about exhausted. I could sleep for a couple of ice ages. Uh, at least we're not the only ones who sleep soundly. Yeah, kids all over the world can rest knowing that the boogeyman won't be coming out of their closets anymore. Kind of gives you a warm glow, doesn't it? Yipe! He's back! All right, Boogie, we know you're in there. Come out with your talons up. Hey, let me blast him. I mean it. I'm talking full stream here. This ghost is toast. Let go of me. Hope everybody's having a 
a spooky good time. The hits just keep on coming. Let's bounce! I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the, mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the, mash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east To the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abodes To catch a joke from my electrodes They did the mash They did the monster mash The monster mash It was a graveyard smash They did the mash It caught on in a flash They did the mash They did the monster mash the zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking, all were digging the sounds. Igor on chains, backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They played the mash. Caught on in a flash. They played the mash. They played the monster mash. Out from his coffin, Drax's voice did ring. It seems he was troubled by just one thing. He opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvanian twist? Now the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. The mash. It caught on in a flash. The mash. It's now the monster mash. Now everything's cool. Drax a part of the band and might of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them Vincent sent you. you now you can monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. Now you can monster mash. Come now, my pretty. Do the monster mash. It won't hurt. I promise. <laughs> We got another fun entry from Bobby Knipe. He makes some really good movies. Have you seen them there? Uh, I was actually in Mom and Pop. You were not either. That was me. Dark! Oh, my goodness, you are insufferable. Anyway, here's a new trailer for Bobby's new movie. Ten years ago, Grandma ran a little bed and breakfast. People came from miles around to enjoy her home-cooked food, until some people never came home. Grandma savagely killed tourists and fed them to the locals, who were none the wiser. And before the police could catch her, she disappeared. Now, a young woman desperate for a new beginning plans to reopen the bed and breakfast, but Grandma's back for blood. Everybody loves eating at Grandma's, until you're the main course. Coming soon.
to a video store near you. Okay, we've got another fun favorites edition. Roy Alex Gomez has sent in his trailer for uh, the new Halloween movie. I hope it's about Halloween ends because that is a masterpiece. So good. No sarcasm intended. Got a little Halloween in so much. October 31st, he comes home. Again. Like for the eighth time. And now, he wants to kill his sister. Not that sister, the other sister. Who is also a moon princess. Oh no, my insane homicidal maniac brother is on the list and he's trying to kill me. <laughs> I'm gonna kill her. She's my sister and I'm gonna kill her so good. Ugh. Hopefully coming never to a theater near you. journey we've all had tonight here, uh, but sadly, the inaugural Video Vagrants Halloween Bash is at an end. Uh, I had a lovely time with you here tonight. I hope you all had one too. I hope you got to go out, get lots of candy, uh, had a like, great time, saw lots of cool costumes, and uh, I guess I'll see you again next year. Uh, gosh, that seems so far away. Uh, maybe I don't want to wait till next year. Maybe I'll wait till next week. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow. Maybe I'll make every post from now on as a buddy, uh, because that wouldn't get old whatsoever, would it? Everybody loves being a buddy, right? <laughs> right? 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 Dorf! That guy! <laughs> Anyways, happy Halloween, everybody, from all of the video vagrants and me, Beazel Buddy. Pieces!